All right, we got some friends who want to ask her questions. First, I just want to say thank you, man. These past four days have been unbelievable. I agree. Thank you. My name is Amber, and I'm from Michigan. All right. You, Uncle Cracker, and Hank Williams Jr. are stranded on a deserted island. Who gets eaten first? Oh, man. You lose that wow. bet. The other guys are bigger than I you. I thought it was going to be that old, uh, what do they call that joke where it's like, uh, kill one, fuck one, whatever it is. <laughs> um, man, I've never really thought about cannibalism. You're hungry, man. Hungry. Oh, that cracker's got a lot of good meat on it, you know? That's a good question. Hi, I'm Hello. Heather. Hi, Heather. I'm from St. Clair Shores, Michigan. <laughs> so, after going off this cruise, you pretty much conquered everything. My question is, what's left to check off on your bucket list? I know we were kind of actually joking last night. I was telling my friends, I was like, uh, I go, there's another surprise for you guys, just because you know it can't get any better. We're just going to swing by heaven on the way back to Tampa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I've been so fortunate and so blessed to, you know, work hard, make music, and have great fans like this who support me and come out and have fun with me and, and party. It's really hard to say, you know, what, what could be next. I, at this point, it's just every day, it just keeps getting more and more mind blowing. Trust me, my mind is just as blown as everyone else on here. I'm not jaded to it at all. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Hi. I'm from Montreal. Hello. Uh, you write such incredible, meaningful lyrics. Do you have a special process, time of day, or after a few drinks, or both, or when you write your songs? Um, lately, it seems like I do my best writing in the morning. Like, believe it or not, like when I'm home with my son, I, I like to try to keep good hours. I get up about 8 o'clock, and you know, it seems before like 11, you know, the phone doesn't ring or anything, so I kind of got that time. It seems like my mind's halfway functioning better in the morning, so lately it's been like that. Um, but you never know, whenever it comes, you know, I jot stuff down on my Blackberry, or, you know, just, if somebody says something to me that's just, it's, you're always searching for inspiration. Like anything inspirational, you know, you try to jot down. And I have a horrible memory. Like basically, Cracker was my memory for since we were kids growing up. He would remember everything and then I could put it into words. Um, so there's really not one particular thing, but to answer the question, probably in the morning. Thank you. Just try your best every time. That's all you can do. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Bobby. Hello. I'm from Connecticut. All right. I saw you at Mohegan a few years ago and you signed my boob. <laughs> <laughs> well, it got smudged and I didn't get it to get it tattooed. If it isn't any bother, could you sign it again? No problem. Oh! <laughs> sign of boobs? I don't... <laughs> I'll think about it. <laughs> Hi kids, my name is Sydney from North Carolina. That's it. Hi, and I'd like to know um, how much you enjoy being a father. Enjoy being a father? Oh, probably like a lot of people here who have kids. It's great, man. It's, you know, what else are you going to do, you know? We were put on this earth to reproduce. I accomplished that much. <laughs> All right. I love it, man. Love it. Thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity. It's been great. Thank you for coming. Caroline from Oregon Wine Country. I have a winery, and if you're ever in Oregon, come visit me. I'll hook you up. Again. <laughs> okay. So my question, I'm in. My winery, is, booze, and more. It's not a bad job. We go to more than booze in Oregon, too. What's your pre concert ritual? Do you do anything in particular before you get ready to perform? Uh, we say a prayer. <laughs> it started out. Um, when I had Rev run on tour with me, like he would always say a prayer, bless us before we played. And then uh, a girl, Jessica, who's in the band now, um, she says it every night. And um, 
It's pretty funny because he's always like thanking, like for the weather. <laughs> like, dear Lord Jesus, and thank you for this wonderful day and beautiful sunshine. <laughs> it's all like that. But it's great, man. You know, it puts everybody in a good spirit. And then, uh, you know, just helps us go out and try to give that. No matter what I'm singing or screaming about, it still kind of comes off positive, you know, and everyone's just having a good time and enjoying themselves.